Hello and welcome to my first tutorial. This one goes to someone who wanted to know how to install a uh, graphical user interface to Debian. So I first log in with my root account. You can do this via SSH. I can't do so. Uh, so there we go. What you now need to do is to update your list via apt-get update. So that updates the list of mirrors where you can find those stuff and well just read now the packages and after that um, you can get the packages for um, GNOME by giving it GNOME or KDE and well minus KDE I want to do so I go on KDE you see by giving GNOME it would do the same and let's see if the package still exists yep no didn't so um, to install the KDA system is given the KDE to install GNOME and install GNOME and to install XFCE I don't know really but let's try it nope I cannot tell you how to install XFace but I don't want it I want to install KDE and that's what I know about and just press yes now it's fetching all the packages that it needs to install on this machine basically so this can take a little while really so um, I've got a really fast internet connection with 2.5 megabytes per second actually so it wouldn't take me too long and what it does get now is it gets the newest KDE packages and installs the full um, KDE uh, system so if you want just the base just search in Google for how to install the KDE base I can tell you really um, they just change stuff and I use Ubuntu now I don't use um, Debian anymore because well I just don't have time to mess around with the console so as you can see it's getting the packages now I'll make a cut right here so there we go five oh let's go five four three two one and there we go and now the magic happens it installs KDE well to install it I forgot to mention you need a graphics card installed in your computer and a monitor hooked up to it else it would not work properly and it wouldn't make any sense well I could show you a tutorial how to exit via an X you know the no machine stuff but if you want that just um, ask me that in a comment but first of all the regular basis tutorial like you wanted to have a computer with Debian and you wanted to have a minimal install and then install everything yourself so we're installing KDE at the moment and this could take a while I'll make another cut it exactly here finally it just um, got finished and now we type in reboot and it's rebooting let's see what this I will now restore here we go it's booting up the kernel loading please wait it takes loads of time loads of time loads of time more loads of time more loads of time and here we go our graphical user interface is trying to start and here we are that's it that's our graphical user interface and it's booting up and I installed with the command KD to install KD um, 3 I think it's still 3.5 in there so if you want to have KD 4 you just have to type in apt dash get install dash um, no no dash and in a space and then 
all the funny things, so let's get through them with that. So, um, well, you just have to type in not KD, you have to type in KD4 instead, so, oh, come on. Uh, come on, screw you, wizard. Well, I like that, if in Linux hangs a program, it just hangs and that's it. You can, cannot kill it. And here we go. I want to terminate and I want to quit. And that's it. So now KD is going to refresh its cage and all the stuff and whatever. And there we go. It's loading up the desktop. And boom, baby! We got KD running. So this person who, ma who messaged me did not only want to have KDE or GNOME or whatever installed, he wanted to know about um, how to just how to install Wine. So what what we want to do is we run the apt-get install command again with the command Wine and. Uh, uh, we answer yes, and let's now download something from the web. So first, we should install Firefox, I think, because um, this browser on here, the Conqueror, is not real fast. And real, it's only bugging you. So we're installing Cups. We're installing Lipwine. And we install wine. Here we are. So wine is installed. And blah blah blah. And we click on yes. And it does its stuff and installs and installs and oh gosh, this takes just a little while. Well, uh, while this is installing, I can show you what you can do now with your graphical interface. You can go in Office and do all the stuff, like uh, write a little letter or something. So we go into Office, and uh, well, we could do an email with Kmail. We have got settings, all the goodies of settings. We've got system, and there are all system tools like the performance monitor. Oops, I clicked the wrong one. Oh, my system is still lagging. So let's do it again. I want to run performance monitor. Here we go. That's the performance monitor. Speed load is about 83%. Yeah, we know because everything got slagged. Look at this. If I move the window around. And then want to start a program or something that's not KDE based and it guts. Yeah, it has lags. But that's not a problem for us. Now finally it's going to get wine into it. Oh my gosh. Start trash too often. And then we install Firefox just for the sake of internet browsing. Oh. I squeeze left and saw on Debian. I forgot. And it's installing and installing. Oh gosh. So it's unpacking. And loady, loady, load. As you can see, it's pretty overload. My CPU and my physical memory is all eaten up by the graphical user interface. So well, we've got our web browser installed. So we go on the internet and our web browser. You can close now out of this. So one thing I have to say, Wine cannot do .NET programs. Cannot do this, right? But you can do some simple programs um, like whatever. Let's try Notepad++. I like this editor a lot in Windows. There's a new version now. Oh, oh, they changed their website. Cool. Now the current version. And I want the installer. And I want to open it with 
Y, I think. Click on OK. And blah, 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 blah. Say yes. And yeah, there is the installer. Can go on next, set next, and all the stuff. Show details, and it compromises. We, now we can run the program no plus plus, and as you can see, a Windows program running on Linux. So this this one works really perfect, fine, because there's nothing with that to do. It's just a little program and all the stuff, and it's really neat if you need some programming stuff. So um, everything's working in here, I think. So all the stuff is working, and all and also and everything's good. So, and I think that's it for the tutorial. Let's try this works. Yes, it does. So cool. Works. Fantastic. I hope it helped you. If not, please write a comment. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.